Good morning, guys. This is Webster from My Therapy Garden YouTube channel. We're playing the dirt. Help me to take away the hurt. Today, we're doing a September tour of the conifer garden. So to start the conifer garden, we have a Japanese maple waterfalls. Waterfalls is a fine leaf dissectum. green leaf which in the fall would give you that orange color nice orange color in the falls waterfall Japanese maple next beside it we have a U Then a blue spruce. And like I said, we uh, removed this Japanese lantern that was on the hill to put the focus of that Japanese theme on the east side garden. A golden mophead cypress here. Here we have a nice Italian cypress. And we'll just quickly look at everything in the conifer garden. Dwarf Alberta spruce. This Japanese maple. There's a sharp spigma. There's a sharp spigma. Uh, fire chief and we have our turtle the rock of the turtle which we said that that symbolize strength endurance in the Japanese culture we have the mini twist Japanese flying. This is a black dragon. I'm not sure what's going on with this black dragon. I'm trying to nurse it back to life. But both my black dragon have that brown color <laughs> maybe it's dead or dying <laughs> but I'm trying to keep it going <laughs> my daughter planted these uh, pumpkin and watermelon in the garden so this is her contribution to my conifer garden <laughs> this ginkgo biloba is like a weeping ginkgo biloba it's called Telma. My little water feature there. Behind it we have a Mugo pine. We have a Japanese black pine. Small Camisiporus obstrusa nana right here. Looking good and it's growing. 
another of my Japanese maple, peaches and cream. And you can see on these leaves where I get the name peaches and cream. So you got the two tone. On the older leaves, you'll see the white striations. in the green in the fall the name come alive you'll get that peaches and cream that orange tone and white have another uh, Japanese black pine kotobuki right there fern spray the deodore cedar that nice blue color head midget and forever goldie Arborvitae. Head smidget is also an Arborvitae, of course. Another head smidget in the background there. And in the foreground is a dwarf Alberta spruce. Blue point juniper finishing off the conifer garden. So there we have it, guys. A September tour of the conifer garden. And with conifers, you still have colors without flowers. You know, because we have the yellow of the Forever Goldie, green, like in uh, Arborvitae, like your head smidget, or the uh, dwarf Alberta spruce. We have the blue tip here of the blue point uh, juniper of the Deodore cedar. You get that nice blue and light green. Of course, with the fern spray, we got that green of the fern spray there. And the pines give you different textures, different shades of green, from a dark green to a chartreuse green. So a conifer will give you color. And conifers are not all huge trees. You have a lot of dwarf variety. So I try to get dwarf in my conifer garden. It's a small space. And of course, to encourage your kids, you give them room so they, they can experiment in the garden also. And my daughter experiment with pumpkin and watermelon. Garden should have meaning to you, should have a purpose. So, when I draw from the Japanese influence for this garden, I make sure I have some symbolism of like a turtle rock, symbol of strength and longevity in the garden. I hope you enjoy this tour of the conifer garden, guys. I said the garden is ever changing getting more of a Japanese influence on this side. And we'll be doing something new for the back garden and the hill garden. You like the garden? Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends and family so we can help the channel to grow. If you have any question or comment, please drop a line down below. From my garden to yours, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden, where playing in the dirt helped me to take away the hurt. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And please remember, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye for now.